Now joining us from the Bharatiya Janata Party is spokesperson Manjinder Singh Sirsa. We also have with us spokesperson from the Aam Aadmi Party, Akshay Marathe. Good evening to both of you. Thank you for joining us here on India Today. Akshay Marathe, if I can begin with you. Is this now going to be the Delhi governance model going forward of uh, governance from jail? Akshita, let's remember that Arvind Kejriwal is a three-time elected chief minister. The last time that he faced the electorate of Delhi, he got 62 out of 70 seats, 55% of the vote share. The BJP got just eight seats and was humiliated by Arvind Kejriwal and the people of Delhi. So until the people of Delhi's mandate is with Arvind Kejriwal, until the people of Delhi want Arvind Kejriwal as chief minister, who is the Bharati Janata Party to demand his resignation? when he has not even been charge sheeted by the enforcement directorate yet. He is in jail over suspicion, but remember, there has not been a single documentary evidence that has gone to court. He has not been convicted. There is not a single provision in the constitution that says that a chief minister should not function and not carry out his constitutional duties to the people who have elected him but I'm just sure, because the opposition party has has a suspicion. I'm sure you agree that it is challenging. I'm sure you agree that it's challenging. There are problems with running a government from jail. It's not easy. And will Delhi suffer as a consequence? Arvind Kejriwal has faced immense challenges for the last 10 years from the Bharati Janata Party. He is an educated person. He is an IRS officer. He knows how to run a government. He has overcome every single challenge along the way and even this challenge will be overcome by him as we saw today. He issued an order from the ED custody to the water minister Atishi and he, he directed her to take charge and make sure that the people of Delhi do not suffer in the summer because of a water crunch, they do not suffer because of sewage overflows. So it is not the BJP's job to decide how Arvind Kejriwal is doing. It is the people of Delhi's job to decide how Arvind Kejriwal is doing as chief minister. Okay. And let me tell you, Akshita, when he when he took oath, he, he promised the people of Delhi that he will work for them. He took oath as chief minister. He has not been appointed by some constitutional authority. He has, okay. been, he has taken an oath to, to work for the people. Let's get it. So until the Singh people Sirsa tell him not this. to work, he will the continue. The Army Party, Mr. Sirsa, as you heard, is saying Arvind Kejriwal is fulfilling his promise to the people of Delhi. He's been voted in as the chief minister with a mandate from the people of Delhi. And he's ordering, issuing orders now from uh, ED custody. So he's clearly getting things running. So we should remember one thing, whosoever becomes an MLA, member of parliament, a minister or a chief minister, he is always mandated by the people. That is the reason he becomes the elected representative. But there are few ethics, few principles and also the law and the constitution of this country. I think we should, all should have a highest regard for that. I don't see a single instance in the last 75 years where anybody would have said, कि मैं तो जी जेल में रहूंगा पर मुख्यमंत्री रहूंगा थिंक ऑफ इट टुमारो अ फ्यू डेज बैक इफ यू रिमेंबर द डीजीपी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश वाज आस्क्ड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू रजिस्टर एफआईआर अगेंस्ट डीजीपी ही वाज नॉट इन द जेल ही वुड हैव सेड कि मैं तो जेल भी जाऊंगा तो भी मैं ही डीजीपी रहूंगा डीजीपी नहीं मैं छोडूंगा मैं पढ़ लिख कर डीजीपी बनो आईपीएस बनो मैं डीजीपी नहीं छोडूंगा एंड नेक्स्ट डे अ चीफ अगेंस्ट देयर इज अ समवन अगेंस्ट अ चीफ सेक्रेटरी एंड ही सेज कि नहीं I run my chief secretary from the prison. First of all, these prisons are for criminals, for gangsters, for people who are accused or who are convicted. There is no provision in the law by saying that uh, some accused will be there in a prison and saying that I am the Mukh Mantri Yuji. For two reasons. Mr. One, Sirsa, first, but it's not illegal. We talk about the constitution and the oath of a chief minister. Please let me come in 30 seconds. Sure. 30 seconds. Okay. okay. If we are not talking about legal, I talk about the principles and the morally. I tell you one thing. I will tell you about Delhi only. There used to be a chief minister called Madan Lal Khurana, who just resigned because unka naam ek do lakh rupee me ek diary me aaya tha. Nobody said he has taken money. There was no case. There was no FIR. But he immediately resigned on moral ethics. There was a time when the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh resigned because Uma Bharati was summoned by a court. She was not accused. There was a, and you know you see the latest trend. You talk about the vendetta politics. If you say the Himan Suren, uh, BJP, it's, uh, the BJP. A uh, party has been saying he's a, he's a, he's a, he took a money out of this uh, uh, scam of uh, uh, whatever it was. Mm. And the same was the Congress also speaking on the same lines. But when the ED summoned him, 
before going to before being arrested he immediately resigned from there and then went to the jail no but that now is his choice is this is his choice this is mr kejriwal's choice and the aap is saying very clearly that this is not a leader who's been convicted he's not even been charged cheated so it's not illegal in any way there's no law that says he can't do what he's doing now no there is no law that he can do प्रूव मिस शो मी दी लॉ डॉक्यूमेंट विच से एक चीफ मिनिस्टर चुनाव चीफ मिनिस्टर जेल से चीफ मिनिस्टर बनेगा शो मी द लॉ वेर इट इज रिटर्न शो मी एनी डॉक्यूमेंट विच सेस शो मी एनी इंस्टेंस इन लास्ट सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स विच प्रूव दैट एक चीफ मिनिस्टर जाके जेल के अंदर से चीफ मिनिस्टर रहेगा एंड फॉर द रीजन बींग आई मस्ट टेल यू इट इज नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज इट इज ऑन इज चॉइस एंड विम्स फॉर अ रीजन बींग बिकॉज यू टू का ओथ ऑफ सीक्रेसी यू टू का ओथ and now when you are in a in a jail you are not even supposed to sign a single document without showing to the jailer you can't pass on a single letter without showing to the jailer do you think so the cabinet will be formed in a jail now now the the, the other ministers will go to jail hmm. and sit there for a cabinet okay fair point I'm, I'm fair point to hear about this fair What point akshay marathi your response to this you know there are challenges and we mentioned this earlier as well you can't share a cabinet meeting how will files go to the lieutenant governor now there can be no in person meetings in jail mr sirsa also says that the jailer has to give approval for every document that goes in and out no first of all let's understand mr arvin kejriwal is in is in custody of the enforcement sure, directorate yeah, he's yeah. not in jail he's but he can't go to cabinet meetings for sure someone who is no he, he will he will figure out a way to do that he there is there are virtual meetings that can happen there are no why is that so funny the how, world how can he do it have virtual meetings first of all akshita our stand is that he has been illegally sent to jail our stand is very clear he this is a fake case he has been sent to jail in a fake case without any evidence without any charge sheet so why should he have to stop functioning as a chief minister where does it say that he needs to stop functioning as a chief minister no to ensure the people now, of delhi the, don't the, suffer the is, to ensure the, the people of delhi don't suffer governance doesn't take a hit because there are challenges as i told you to ensure that the people of delhi don't suffer the bjp should not have arrested their chief minister the bjp because they cannot defeat mr kejriwal has chosen uh, to uh, arrest him and incapacitate him but, but arvin kejriwal arvin Enforcement directed is the BJP. There is no difference between the two. The script is written in the BJP headquarters. The enforcement directed carries carries it out. If that was not the case, how is it that Ajit Pawar, who has been accused by the BJP of corruption, is now your deputy chief minister? So let's not let's not pretend like the enforcement directed is an in independent body. It is a BJP body, and uh, be that okay. as it may, the courts have allowed it to okay, happen. Sir. We respect the courts. Right. But okay. No I'll I'll, I'll bring it back to are, governance in a bit, but I'm going to give Mr. Sirsa a chance to respond to that. Yeah. sir may, may, i would like to apprise you the complaint was filed by congress the case was registered by the cbi and ed arvind kejriwal ji went to high court the double bench saw the evidence and refused to give any kind of a stay on his arrest and he was arrested by ed and that to the time when there is a election code of conduct enforced in this country how come bjp came in picture i don't understand the complaint is by your partner which is congress दे सेड कि हमने ये मुकदमा दर्ज कराया अरविंद केजरीवाल रिजाइन करे और जेल जाए देट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग नॉट डू गेव दम थ्री सीट्स एंड विद दी दैट थ्री सीट्स जो वो तीनों पे उनकी भी जमानत जब्त होगी और चारों पे कांग्रेस बीजेपी इसकी तो होगी होगी आम आदमी पार्टी की एंड नॉ दे आर सेइंग कि नहीं जी अरविंद केजरीवाल तो देवता है एंड सेम राहुल गांधी जिनके लिए अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने कहा था सोनिया को उठा के जेल में डाल दो सीबीआई अभी ठीक हो जाएगी एंड नाउ सेम राहुल गांधी सेस नाई जी सोनिया गांधी सेस राहुल गांधी तो बहुत अच्छे है लेकिन इसके साथ साथ अरविंद जी भी उतने ही अच्छे हैं now i don't understand what hypocrisy is this a hmm. same set of people who are abusing each other saying that these are corrupt most corrupt people they should immediately put behind the bars now same set of people are saying nahi ji ye to galat ho gaya ye to hona hi nahi chahiye uh, how can you use us as a bjp who was a bjp to decide this it's a ed decision and it's a honorable court decision they should at least honor the double bench high court double bench decision they don't want to honor yeah. that also i must say right what okay. honorable uh, 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 double bench said in the high court they said the justice justice suresh kumar kan said we have heard arguments on the present application from both sides at length however at this stage we are not inclined to grant any interim relief to the okay. applicant okay okay let's get in a response from the aam aadmi party no. You made, point, you, Sisa, you made your point mr sirsa you made your point akshay marathi the courts haven't granted any relief so far to mr kejriwal nor have they granted any relief to mr manish sisodia mr sirsa also points out that the congress today is coming and saying that you know what's happened to mr kejriwal is wrong when they were the ones who filed the complaint in the first place yeah 
no i was hearing congress and aam aadmi party from mr sirsa's voice but what the people of the country watching the show are hearing are the names of ajit pawar who prime minister modi has said that he has committed a 70000 crore rupees scam Thagan Bhujbal was in ED custody for two years, and Sir, today he is a sitting minister in the I BJP government in Maharashtra. So, so the, people of, the people of India are looking at the BJP like a joke. They have treated the whole country like a joke. You have made Himanta Biswa Sarma, who Amit Shah made, a, did a press conference and said he is the most corrupt leader in the country. You have made him the chief minister. Are people of India supposed to watch this and take it seriously? No. Enforcement directorate cannot be taken seriously. It is a okay. BJP body. Akshita, so coming to the second the charge point, sheet was filed right. before he joined BJP. The charge sheet was there, and the court yeah. case is before the court. It has nothing to do with investigation no, agencies. Sitsa, and if Sitsa, you don't have trust in the court, Sitsa, it's up to you. I can't make you forced Sitsa, to trust Sitsa, the court. Let me, the charge, let me listen, answer the question please, about no, the let court. Let me completely let tell me you one thing. I must clarify no, to you. The charge sheet has already been filed. Yeah, let, oh, the let Mr. Sissa complete the sentence, the then the Akshay, you can respond. The court. Let the court decide it. Okay, he's saying the matters with the court. He's the saying the matters with the court, not with yeah. the agencies. Akshay Marathi. Sure, sure. Before sure. the court, the charge the is already filed before he joined the BJP. Agency, the charge was already filed before him. Sir, the agency arrests the person and the charge sheet is filed eventually. Now, in this particular case, let's remember... Section 45 of the PMLA, under which these people have been arrested, Mr. Kejriwal, Mr. Sisodia, etc. The, the section says that there is a presumption of guilt. It was it was made so strong to to prevent money laundering in terrorism cases, in uh, narcotics cases. Okay. But you, Mr. B, the, the, from the BJP, have used that to target opposition. No, so okay. you were supposed to use it to strengthen the country, the national interest. I have, I you have, Akshay Marathi, I have raised the issues. I've raised the issues that you mentioned with Mr. Sirsa. I just want to bring it back to what we're discussing this evening, which is governance from jail. And while I did, in fact, mention some of the challenges, also the question that a lot of people are asking to. Today, Akshay Marathi, is what's stopping the Ahmadmi Party? What's stopping Mr. Arvind Kejriwal from giving power to someone else while he fights this case out and proves his innocence? What stops him from letting an Atishi take over? What stops the BJP from allowing the elected Chief Minister of Delhi from functioning? He has fair and square defeated the BJP. What stops the Bharatiya Janata Party from allowing an elected government to function? Even in the past, when the Supreme Court had actually given Mr. Kejriwal full power, the BJP uh, made a GNCTD amendment and stopped Mr. Kejriwal from exercising his no. power. So it is not just today that they want to take out... Let me finish. They want to take out Mr. Kejriwal. No, but you're not answering my question. Answer my crook. question, please. We've done all of the political bickering. Answer my question, please, Akshay, because I need to cut across to a news break also. Are you suggesting that if a party that doesn't believe in democracy and elections wants to take out an elected chief minister by hook or by crook, we are supposed to just follow along? We are not going to follow along. We are not going to toe the line. We will do what the people of Delhi have asked us to do. We will continue to be in power. Mr. Kejriwal is an elected chief minister. The BJP cannot decide that from today onwards he will not be chief minister. No. Okay. The BJP has got only eight MLAs. They have no right to decide. Okay, okay, all right. I'm wrapping this up because I've got a news break also coming in. Thanks, Mr. Manjinder Singh Sirsa. Thanks to Akshay Marathi for joining us here on India Today.